The deltoid muscle has an origin on the spine of the scapula. The acromion and the lateral part of the clavicle. All the fibers of this muscle converge on the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus. The deltoid muscle is a major abductor of the arm. The clavicular fibers assist in flexing the arm, and the posterior fibers assist in extending the arm. Now I will remove the deltoid muscle from this model so that we can look at the muscles on the posterior side of the scapula. The supraspinatus has an origin on the medial two-thirds of the supraspinous fossa of the scapula and it inserts on the greater tubercle of the humerus. The it is one of the four muscles that form the rotator cuff, and it initiates abduction of the arm. The infraspinatus has an origin on the medial two-thirds of the infraspinous fossa of the scapula, and it inserts on the posterior surface of the greater tubercle of the humerus, right over here. The infraspinatus is another rotator cuff muscle, and its action is lateral rotation of the arm. The teres minor muscle has an origin on the posterior surface of the scapula, immediately adjacent to the lateral border. It asserts on the posterior surface of the greater tubercle of the humerus. It is another rotator cuff muscle and its action is lateral rotation of the arm. The teres major muscle has an origin on the posterior surface of the inferior angle of the scapula. It inserts on the medial lip of the intertubercular sulcus of the anterior surface of the humerus, which you can't see from this view. Its actions include medial rotation of the arm and extension of the arm. 